the earth Come to us, O righteous one Come and bring our love to birth In the glory of your Son Sing out earth and skies Sing of the God who loves you Raise your joyful cries Dance to the life of Come, O oh God of wind and flame, fill the earth with righteousness. Teach us all to sing your name, may our lives your love confess. Sing out earth and skies, sing of the God who loves you. Raise your joyful cries, dance to the life of In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. My friends, privileged as we are to form this worshiping community, we now beg for the mercy of God so that we can celebrate worthily. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. <clears throat> Let us pray. Grant your faithful, we pray, almighty God, the resolve to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that gathered at his right hand, we may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. You, Lord, are our Father. Our Redeemer, you are named forever. Why do you let us wander, O Lord, from your ways and harden our hearts so that we fear you not? Return for the sake of your servants, the tribes of your heritage. Oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down with the mountains quaking before you. While you wrought awesome deeds we could not hope for, such as they had not been heard of from of old. No ear has ever heard, no eye ever seen any God but you doing such deeds for those who wait for him. Would that you might meet us doing right, that we were mindful of you in our ways. Behold, you are angry and we are sinful. All of us have become like unclean people. All our good deeds are like polluted rags. We have all withered like leaves and our guilt carries us away like the wind. There is none who calls upon your name, who rouses himself to cling to you, for you have hidden your face from us and have delivered us up to our guilt. Yet, O oh Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay and you the potter. We are all the work of your hands. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, make us turn to you. Let 
let us see your face and we shall be saved. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. O shepherd of Israel, hear us. Enthroned on the cherubims shine forth. Rise up your might and come to save us. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. God of hosts, turn again, we implore. Look down from heaven and see. Visit this vine and protect it, the vine your right hand has planted, the Son of Man you have claimed for yourself. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. May your hand be on the man at your right hand, the Son of Man you have confirmed as your own, and we shall never forsake you again. Give us life that we may call upon your name. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestow on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge as the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by him you are called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Lord, show us your love and grant us your salvation. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to his disciples, Be watchful, be alert. You do not know when the time will come. It is like a man traveling abroad. He leaves home and places his servants in charge, each with his own work, and orders the gatekeeper to be on the watch. Watch, therefore, you do not know when the Lord of the house is coming whether in the evening, or at midnight, or at cock 
crow or in the morning. May he not come suddenly and find you sleeping. What I say to you, I say to all, watch. The Gospel of the Lord. Leonard Cohen is a famous Canadian songwriter and singer, probably best known for the song Alleluia, played very often. But he also wrote a song called Anthem. And in the middle of the song, we have the refrain, there is a crack in everything. That's how the light gets in. Because we need your light and your love and your consolation. And he's talking from a time of desolation at the time of the exile in Babylon when they are returning to rebuild their community, worshiping political, economic community. And we need the light, the light that we have rejected, for which we have been punished for now. Crack open those heavens, O oh Lord, and let your light come in. And it's a worthy meditation for this time of Advent when we celebrate the cracking open of the heavens when the light of the star shone through and the word was made flesh and the light of the world was born in our midst. And that light shone through the cracks of humanity where there was sickness, he came with healing. Where there was blindness, he shone the light. Where there was ignorance, he showed us the wisdom of the Lord, cracked open and the light shone through. Even the ultimate, unfortunate, to put it mildly, situation called death. The tomb was cracked open and filled with the light of the resurrection. And so the message has gone out to the Christians. There is no oppressive situation that can stop the light from entering in if we cooperate with the Lord and the dynamism of the kingdom. And so during this time of Advent, we're preparing for the time between the heavens were cracked open with the star of Bethlehem and now when the Lord will come again in glory and majesty with the light of the angels and the heavenly hosts. But until that time, we are called to fellowship with Christ and to continue his work. His work with broken humanity. He did not allow that brokenness to overcome us with despair. But he said, as the word of the song goes, there is a crack in everything and that's how the light enters in. And therefore, we ought to be alert, on the watch, looking for the time when we can enter into those cracks and become a light to the world to see if a person is sorrowing, we can come to his or her aid in some small way. To see where systems are oppressive and we can use our votes and political influence to change the system. But you have to be alert and watchful as the scripture says, there are two types of watching. One is passive and the other is active. A passive time of watching or waiting is what you found yesterday on Black Friday, people waiting a couple of hours for the doors to open in order to get a bargain and it's, that's boring. Seems like a waste of time and very often that kind of Passive waiting is a waste of time, but there is an active watching. And you talk to any athlete who's on the watch, the goal is free, I will see if I can kick the goal. 
talk to a musician on the watch, wait for the conductor to give me the beat so that I can play my instrument. That's an alert, active, watching for the right opportunity to do something. And we are asked to be alert and on the watch to slip through the cracks of the brokenness of humanity and to fill it with light, just as Jesus cured the blind and healed the sick and came to rescue to those on the brink of despair. St. Paul, as usual, always brings us to the heart of the matter. He says that we are called to fellowship with Christ as we await for the revelation of our Lord Jesus. In other words, we have a task to do. Christ opened up the heavens and allowed the light to come through and ask us to give light into this world. And we await for the full revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. But until that time, we work through the brokenness of this world for all the disappointments and all the negativity there is a crack. And we can let our light shine through by our generosity and our love. Why? Because we are called children of the light. We have fellowship with our Lord Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We now rise for our profession of faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting, amen. Let us pray. As we prepare for the coming of Christ into the world, let us call to mind those areas and aspects of the world that dearly need his presence. For our church, that through our actions and words, we may atone for our sinful ways, especially during this season of watchful expectancy for Christ's coming, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That world leaders may hear the cries of those in need, the poor, the homeless, the persecuted, the broken, and see the face of the Lord in their suffering, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are burdened with guilt, that they may turn to God and come to realize the boundlessness of God's extravagant forgiveness, we pray to the Lord. Amen. For those around the world who suffer from HIV AIDS, may they know the tender, compassionate presence of God, we pray to the Lord. For those in our community who received plenty to eat on Thanksgiving from our generosity, but struggle to feed their families and themselves every other day, that they may be remembered throughout the year, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. We now take a moment of silence as we pray within our own hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. With the special intention of this Mass for Peter Donnelly and for all of our deceased parishioners, relatives, benefactors, and friends, especially the victims of the COVID-19 virus, we pray to the Lord. O oh, loving God, as we ready our hearts for your Son, grant that we may see your holy face in the faces of those in need so that we might share from our blessings as you shared your blessings with us. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Rise as we pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For Christ assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfill the design you formed long ago and open for us the way to eternal salvation. Then when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Bishop, the clergy, and the entire people of God. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph espouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We now approach our merciful Father using the words that our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from it. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And we now exchange a sign of welcome and of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Thank you. 
Please rise as we pray. <clears throat> May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray, for even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and to hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, descend upon us and remain with us forever and ever. Amen. Our Mass is now ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Lift up, you gates, lift up your arches. Let the King of glory come. Lift up your hearts and sing, you people. Let the King of glory come. Who is the King of glory? Our God, holy and strong. Who is the Lord of majesty? Yahweh, holy and strong. Lift up your gates, lift up your archers. Let the King of glory come. Lift up your hearts and sing, you King of glory come, let the King of glory